So, picture this, Charles is stuck in a room, he tries to make a run for it through the left door, only to find himself back in the room through the right door in the blink of an eye. Now, what's really mind-boggling is that both doors swing the exact same way. Poor Charles is scratching his head, thinking, did I never actually leave? He figures it might be some kind of illusion. So he tries the reverse approach. This time, he shoves the right door open, only to end up back inside through the left door. And guess what? He even catches a glimpse of himself walking out the door. Talk about a major mind trip, right? But wait, there's more. Charles pulls out a piece of paper with a password to unlock something. He carefully types in the code, hoping it'll magically whisk him away from this room. But no such luck. He tries it again. Same result, undeterred. Our man gives it a third shot, thinking, third time's the charm. The outcome remains unchanged. No changes whatsoever. It's like he's stuck in a never-ending loop, going round and round in circles, unable to escape. Every room in this building is different, and they don't even connect to each other. Charles is caught in a real-life maze of doom scenario. Now, the big question is, how on earth can Charles break free from this room? No matter how hard he tries, there's just no way out of this cycle of doors. It all started when Charles, a skilled locksmith, was called to a high-rise building to fix some door locks. It seemed like a simple task. The locks were quickly repaired, and with the correct code entered, the doors opened smoothly. Charles stepped inside to inspect his work, but then, something bizarre happened. He suddenly found himself back in the same hallway. He went in and out multiple times, only to realize that he was trapped in a loop. This strange phenomenon began right from the moment he was working on that password lock. Now, Charles comes up with an escape plan. He opens the left door and places his toolkit against the doorframe. He starts walking forward while constantly returning through the right door. The locksmith shifts from walking to running, and his speed keeps increasing. Some people believe that if you can run faster than the speed of light, you can achieve time travel. However, despite running 999 times, Charles can't even match the speed of a cheetah let alone surpass the speed of light, he's still stuck in the same place, going in circles. It turns out that the notion of surpassing the speed of light to achieve time travel is just a myth. Something you'd deceive a three-year-old with, exhausted and experiencing low blood sugar. The locksmith takes out a carton of milk to drink, and munches on some cookies to replenish his energy. But how can he escape this predicament? The locksmith finds himself trapped in this never-ending loop. He tries a clever trick by tossing a bag of food out through the left door only to have it reappear through the right door and hit him in the back. Well, that's real. Not some illusion, but our locksmith isn't giving up just yet. He lies down on the ground and stretches his hands forward, hoping to break free from this loop by grabbing his own feet up ahead. Unfortunately, he's not monkey D, Luffy from One Piece with rubbery properties to stretch his body. The locksmith is crushed, lying on the floor in a state of anxiety. However, after numerous attempts, he realizes that it's as if the space here has been folded. Do you all know about space folding? It's a powerful gravitational phenomenon that causes distortion in space. Think of a flat sheet of paper. If you want to go from point A to point B, you can travel in a straight line between the two points. But, there's a faster way, fold the paper, instantly bringing points A and B closer together. That's exactly what's happening here. A space folding effect. Imagine the room the locksmith is in as the paper, and the left and right doors as points A and B. It's very likely that a powerful gravitational force is pulling point B towards point A, causing the space folding to occur. That's why the locksmith keeps looping, and the password lock being powered on acts as the switch that triggers this loop. So, there's a good chance the password lock has some gravitational properties. The locksmith has become utterly disillusioned. How can he break free from this never-ending cycle? Could it be that his approach to opening the doors is incorrect? The locksmith throws his hat into the right door, only to have it reappear through the left door, yet the loop remains unbroken. In frustration, the locksmith grabs a hammer and starts pounding on the wall, but not a single crack appears. The locksmith takes out a folding ruler and tries different shapes, hoping for a different outcome when he steps out. However, no matter what shape he takes, the result remains the same. What goes out is what comes back in. The locksmith loses all hope. He grabs the folding ruler and starts jumping rope. Using a push-pull knife as background music, he breaks into a robotic dance, letting loose in this looped space. But his anxious heart finds no relief. So, on the nth attempt, the locksmith begins to unravel the looped space. Taking a deep breath, he presses the password lock once again, hoping for a different outcome. But to his dismay, he finds himself back in the loop. The locksmith is furious. In a fit of anger, he smashes the password lock with a single blow. Well, now things have taken a turn. Neither of the doors can be opened anymore. There's no need to continue the loop. 
he can just stay here and wait for his demise. In a space that stretches endlessly, two doors are interconnected. Locksmith is resolute in his quest to break free. He swiftly retrieves a power drill, opens the cover of a locked keypad, and skillfully reconnects the severed wires. Just as the wires join together, a nimble black leather ball rolls in with astonishing speed. However, the moment the wires separate, he ball promptly rolls back, as if the entire incident never occurred. What's going on here? Did the loop break? Locksmith tries to reconnect the wires once more, but in the blink of an eye, a bright electric ball pops up in the room. Crackling and shining with an intense light show, it holds a massive amount of hidden power. Drawing Locksmith closer, suddenly, Locksmith snaps back to reality, startled and weak in the knees. So he hurriedly separates the wires once more. And just like that, the electric ball vanishes. Locksmith notices that unexpected things occur every time he connects the wires. Locksmith is trapped in a looped space, attempting to connect the wires. He starts reconnecting the wires, only to be surprised by the sudden arrival of a few individuals. Among them are a female nurse and two orderly guys carrying a stretcher with an untested witch dressed in black. They enter through the right door and exit through the left door. Locksmith freezes in place for a solid two seconds, only to realize that the loop has vanished. Suddenly, a flicker of hope shines in Locksmith's eyes, and he decides to pursue it, but, unfortunately, he's two seconds too late as the loop reappears right before his eyes. Back in the same room, Locksmith's anger reaches a boiling point. In a fit of rage, he angrily hurls his hat to the ground, followed by a bout of painful crying. After shedding his tears, he continues to slump in despair, curled up on the floor, contemplating why he's trapped in this endless cycle. Gradually, exhaustion takes over, and he drifts off into dreamland. But right at that moment, in a dimly lit room, an electric ball and a child suddenly appear. The child crawls up from the ground and exits through the left door. And just then, Locksmith wakes up. Could this child possibly be Locksmith's younger self? We'll find out later. After waking up, Locksmith sits cross-legged on the ground, pondering other ways to break the loop. After a while, he decides to tackle the password lock once again, as every twist and turn always begins with the password lock. Locksmith is going insane. He's trapped in a never-ending space, desperately attempting to connect the wires for the fourth time. And guess what? Out of nowhere, a massive black sandstorm comes roaring in. It rages for a solid five seconds, but then Locksmith lets go of the wires, and the room returns to its original state. Undeterred, he proceeds to try connecting the wires for the fifth time, only to find himself bursting in through the right door. By now, it should be clear to everyone that each time the wires are connected, they tap into the energy of the electric ball, creating a gravitational force that folds space. This incredible phenomenon allows people and objects from different universes to instantly teleport into Locksmith's room, just like we've witnessed with the black leather ball, the nurse, and the sandstorm. To put it simply, the simple act of connecting wires is bringing together multiple universes in locksmith space. Everyone knows that in the Marvel Universe, there are multiple realities where each one has its own existence. So, it's safe to say that the child we saw earlier was born in a universe where the electric ball exists. Do you believe in the existence of multiple universes? Locksmith and Locksmith Joe exchange puzzled glances. They are novices in this subject, and they can't comprehend the idea of multiple universes. They are simply left in awe wondering why there's an identical version of themselves. Locksmith Joe gets spooked and quickly turns to run away, only to find himself caught in the loop too. Once again, he ends up back in the same room, facing the same situation as Locksmith did at the beginning. But unlike Locksmith, this Locksmith Joe lacks the same determination. He doesn't bother trying to find a way out of the loop. Instead, he hunches down on the floor, overcome by misery, questioning how he got himself into this mess. Oh man. Locksmith Joe curls up on the floor and falls asleep still lost in his thoughts, without even having found a romantic partner yet. Meanwhile, Locksmith keeps pondering how to break out of the loop. If he connects the wires again, only mysterious things would appear, since fixing the password lock didn't help him escape. What if he tries to destroy it? What would happen in that situation? With a daring idea in mind, take a closer look. These two people look exactly alike. They are trapped in a looped space. The locksmith takes out a switchblade and cuts open the collar, tearing his uniform into two halves. Then, he ties the two halves of the clothes together and retrieves Locksmith Joe's milk. He pours the milk evenly onto the clothes and gives them a thorough rub and scrub. Afterwards, he tosses the clothes out through the left door, and they magically come in through the right door. The locksmith connects one end of the clothes to the electric wire, then picks up the other end and touches it with his right hand. The next moment, the entire room's circuitry is destroyed, plunging it into darkness. The electric sparks also instantly extinguish. It turns out that the circuitry was destroyed, causing the electric sparks to lose their power source. 
and rendering them unable to generate gravity for space folding. As a result, the looped space is released. At this moment, Locksmith collapses on the ground, and Locksmith Joe wakes up, startled by the scene before him. Immediately, he exits through the right door, leading to the dark world. Meanwhile, three minutes later, Locksmith regains consciousness and chooses to push open the door on the left. There, he is greeted by a beam of sunlight shining upon him. Locksmith walks towards the world of light. The end. The film is titled Circuit. Question for this episode. Have you ever had a feeling that when you visit a new place for the first time, it feels like you've been there before, but you just can't recall it? If you've had this feeling, press 111. If you haven't, press 222. Last time, when Kay visited my friend's house in another city, I stumbled upon a familiar little alley. It felt like I had been there before, even though I had never been there. It was quite strange. In this film, if we connect the circuits a few more times, Kay believes that the people and objects coming in will bring even more surprises. If we map this story to real life, it's actually about humans surpassing their own abilities and embarking on a path of higher development. In other words, Locksmith overcomes the obstacles and moves towards a brighter future. On the other hand, Locksmith Joe remains stuck in his comfort zone, afraid to take risks. As a result, he retraces his steps and continues to immerse himself in his own comfort zone. This film is highly recommended, so go and watch the original version. Alright, that's all for this episode. Remember to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.